Welcome to the fastest stuff in town. Today we're going to start this Sota Daf Lamed Gimel. We're going to begin on Lamed Gimel Lamed Alf by the two dots about seven lines from the top. Tefillah is an example of something which can be said in any language. Why? So the Gemara says, Rachmihi, because you're asking for mercy and compassion. In any way you can daven. So the fact that the Gemara is is it really true that you can daven in any language? That you shouldn't speak in Aramis, you shouldn't ask in in Aramis, in which which would be in Tefillah. That if a person would attack and do such a thing, the Malchi Asharis will not be able to assist you. Which is, of course, hard to understand why, but the Malchi Asharis do not understand Lashon Arami. Some people say Ramois has to do with like trickery. A Malach is exact, is like robotic, and therefore it cannot understand a language in which is not a direct language, which has like sarcasm, cynicism, or uncertainty. So that's why Lavan was love in Harami. So that was the whole notion. And perhaps that's the notion of why a Malach is not able to speak that language because they're direct. Anyway, the question clearly shows that you shouldn't daven in any language. So when it comes to davening B'yochid, it says Rashi, Sarach Shi Asuhu Malachi Asharis. You need their assistance. And therefore, because of that, you should not daven Lashon Arami. However, tzibor lutzrichlehu. If you're down with tzibor, it feels so powerful, then it's not necessary. So, because it says in Eiv, hinkel kabir lo yimos, in a mois betvoshin shal rabim. Hashem will never turn away a tfil, which is coming from the tzibor. So therefore, even if it is without the assistance or direction of the malchi asharis, it doesn't matter. It will still be accepted. Fine. So that's the, the teretz. <clears throat> so can habiyachad habetzibur ve'in malchi asharis makirin belosh and arami is it really true malchi asharis don't aren't makir this language? Basanya yochanan koin gadol shem abaskel mabeis kadosh kadoshim. There was a time that he heard a heavenly voice from the kadosh kadoshim shu'aymer that said that notzchu talia that the young ones won. So this has to do with a a victory. Says Rashi, which is Shaholcho Pirche Kahuna Bene Beis Chashmanoi Lilochimim Yavanim. That he was able to hear that the Chashmanoim were victorious over the Syrian Greeks, as Rashi Lefne Yom Kippurim, Venilchum of Yom Kippurim. Actually, it was the original Yom Kippur War. But Shema Yochanan Basko Keshahoi Oimid of Oskacha Oimid Avoidas Yom Kippurim. So, because he was in the Kodesh Kodesh and Yom Kippur, so it was told that actually this is what took place. So again, it's very interesting that that battle of victory was also on Yom Kippur many, many years ago. So anyway, he heard this bas call from Kodesh Kodesh, Shem Sho'ayim Renatsku Tali De'ozu La'agocha Kirava, that they were fighting a war on Tochya regarding Antioichus, so then itself was hard for me to read because that's Aramaic. So we see that they spoke Arami. So also similarly we hear this by Shimon Tzadik. Avinta that the army was nullified. al that the enemies have destroyed the Hechel. The Nerag Gas 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 and they killed this king, Ubatak Zeroisov, and the Xeris have been removed. Now Gaskal Gaskalgos. Rashi says that's the name of a Egyptian king. And the Xeris were removed. The Kosovo Isa Shah, they wrote down the time, the Khivnu, and it turned out Taka, that's exactly when it happened. Now this as I was breaking my teeth over here, it's because it's the Lashon So what do you mean? We see that they did speak in the Lashon Aramis. They must understand. So when it comes to a Basko, it's not the same thing as the Mal, uh, not, say, not the same thing as Malchi Ashari. So Basko and its purpose is so that 
someone should be able to hear this voice, this heavenly voice, so that they'll understand it. They'll be able to derive it. Says Rashi, Shani Basko Oisamida Hamuna Al Kach Yoidas B'Shem Moshanais. They knew all seven others. Menei Shasuil Hashmia. So that people should be able to understand what's being said, and therefore it had to be in this language or that language. The Yimoyis Ema Gavriel Havi. Maybe this was actually Gavriel. The Oimer Mar Bar Gavriel Belimdu Shimon Moshain. Gavriel, the Malch Gavriel, he was the exception. He actually knew all seventy languages. So you know why Gavriel? Obviously. There's a reason why he was able to understand a Romus, but not a, a typical Malach Asharis. Why was God programmed into a Malach that it's in the antithesis, or it's, it goes against the nature of a Malach to be able to know this language? Says question 13. Kate said, I'm reading on the Ain Malachi Asharis by Kirin Bosh and Rami, by Yochanan, Mishim and Tzadik, Kohanim Gedayle, Mishim Babasko, by Romus. So either a Basko is not the same thing. It's because we need to understand it. Or Malch Gavriel, Havi Demakar Bechol he actually knew all 70 languages. Back in the Gemara. So, Birch HaSamozen could also send the language in any language. We say, It doesn't say how you're supposed to bless. It says, You eat, satisfy, and you should say blessing. Which is much more in any language. Shvus Eidos, Dechsev Nefesh Kisechete, that a, a person who sins, there was a voice of his oath, in any language in which he made this oath, then he'll be chayiv for shvos edos. Shvos bikadon also, asi techata techata, mishvos edos. So, one shava. Okay. So, if you look in Rashi, shvos edos menon, the ilo kasev kra, Equal mamer. If it wasn't for that, you would think the beinon do it as shuos har grizim v'har evil shuhu blosh nekaidish. You would think maybe shuos edus is like the testimony that we saw when it came to the brachs and kolos on har grizim har evil that it had to be davkin blosh nekaidish. That's the reason why we need this gzer shava to tell you no that it can be done in any language. El nimar blosh nekaidish mikra bikor v'chalitz v'chul ad mikra so ad mikra bikor ad mikra bikor ad Ad mikra ad mikra bikurim ketzad. So, what exactly is this case of bikurim that it has to be said in Hebrew? And the lashon kodesh and isvi amart lefi shem el kecha. So it says that you answered before Hashem. Mahalo no emer ve'anu halavim ve'amru el kol ish yisrael. Mani aha amura lahalo lashon kodesh avkan lashon kodesh, which is basically a similar quote of our Mishnah. So we learn out. Then it also has to be Lashna Kaidish. Ulavim Gufayu Minolan. How do we know that the Lavim also is Lashna Kaidish? Asi Kol Kol Mimoisha. Gzer Shava. Ksiv Hacha Kol Ram. Ksiv Hasa. Moisha Dabra Vakim and then a coil. Malhol Lashna Kaidish. I've come Lashna Kaidish. Moshe certainly was, was speaking Kaddish Barhu. Lashna Kaidish. So too over here. It says Rashi, Ya Nenabakoil is Bamatan Tyra of Lashna Kaidish Nitnu. The Tyra was given by Lashna Kaidish. Khalid's a Kate of Hulu. So Rabbanan Hai Kacha Mayavadale. So Kacha could be from the Pasik itself, maybe is how you can derive. It has to be exactly the same way. It has to be Lashna Kaidish. However, Rabbanan don't learn out from Kacha. So what do they do with that word? Meboyuluhu Anything which is an action in the chalitza ceremony is ma'akim if you leave it out. Says Rashi, what does that mean? Kagain chalitza, that's what it take off the shoe, or kiko, the spitting. The kacha mashmi ikuva de asulashanis. That cannot be changed. Rabbi Huda, mikai kacha. So he says you can learn out from, that could have just said, Kai, the fact that it says kacha, so you can learn a second thing. No, there's no real distinction, and therefore you don't learn a second drasha from that. As we continue the Lamed Gimel and Mabes. So the Gemara says, Rabbi Huda, hai v'an sabi amra, mayabidle. What does he do with this Pasuk? Says Rashi, gzer shava d'aniya v'yamira, mayabidle. What does he do with this? So meboyle ligmuri l'levim d'blosh ha'kaidish. So he went out... Um, from the Levim, that it has to be in Lashna Kodesh. So, the Leil of Kol Mamoisha, why is he learning it out from Moshe Rabbeinu? That, that Kaval Chaymer, Kol Koyal. So, Ania, Ania, Gomer, Kol Kol, O Gomer. Better you should learn out Ania from Ania and not Kol Kol. He, again, he learns out this because there's Shavah not. That. Tanya, Mihachi, Behuda, Eimer, Kol Machem, Shnever, Kol, Kacha, Ania, Viamira, Enu El Lashna Kodesh. Kol is Kosavarchu. 
which is Berchas Kohanim. Kocha the Chalitza has to be in Lashna Kodesh. Aniya v'Amira the Levim. Bracha is a close. Ketzad Kivan Shavu Yisrael Siyarin V'Chul. So the Mishnah lengthily discussed the whole procedure of how six Shvatim were on one mountain, six on the other, and they would say a bracha. They would answer Amen. The Klal, they all answer Amen. Turn on bottom. The Pasik says, Halo Hema be Abraha Yardin. Me Avro Yardin ve Eloch, Debra Behuda. So says Rashi, what does that mean? Kishaha Yisrael be Midbar, when they were in the wilderness, Nemer Lahem Simani Hargrizim, Fable. They were given the signs of where the, about these mountains, Um Kaimam in its place, Shame be Abraha Shani, Shal Yardin, Yisrael Hoyul Mizraha Yardin. Right now, the Bnei Israel were on the east, and they were given ex- instructions exactly where it would be on the other side of the Yardin. Achrei derech mavoi hashemesh, which is referring to far, f- far uh, from the east, namely in the west. Makam shacham azrachas, a place where the sun is shining. So they were on the east side, and they were discussing the Har Grizim on the west. It was this location where the Kutim were found, says Rashi. That's where they are now. That Sancheir basically put them there. When it came to the uh, exile of the ten tribes, so that is uh, the group of people that were there. Mul HaGilgal means Samach HaGilgal. Eitzel Eloni Meira, which is referring to Shechem. Olohon Oimer B'yavra Abraham B'eret B'aret Ad Makam Shechem Ad Eilon Meira. Ma Eilon Meira HaAmer Olohon over there is Shechem. So I've got Shechem. Similar to what we saw in the Mishnah. Tanya Amr Abel Lezab Rabbi Yosef Adabra Zeh Ziyafti Sifri Kutim. In this matter, it was contradicted uh, we it's contradicted the the book of the Kutim says Rashi, <coughs> because the Kutim believe in the written Torah, but the Kutim do not believe in the oral Torah, and they only know this this from Torah Shemal Peh, but the problem is they don't hold of Torah Shemal Peh. You have gained nothing. You're telling me it's referred to Shechem. We, I, we agree to that. But We learn out from Gzer Shava that it's Shechem. How are you able to do it? Because you don't hold of these types of things to be able to make these types of drushes. You don't hold Tarshmalpet. It means near it. <coughs> it was referring to the other side of the Yardin and onward. It's a place which is far from the west toward the east. So what do you mean? Doesn't it stand between mountains and valleys? It says but you don't see it there. So Rabbi Lezer, Rabbi Rabbi Eliezer, <coughs> um, Rabbi Eliezer ben Yehuda ben Chayim is Oimer lo ba hakasav el lahadai sahen derech b'shnia. It's only to show uh, the the for the Bnei Israel to know the directions in the second uh, time. Kedar shahar lehem b'rishayna, just as they were shown originally. Derech, uh, the derech, the road. But derech hochu, that you should go on roads, lo basados ukromim, not on fields and vineyards. Hayoshe b'yishuv, when it says you set, go in settled places, lochu, velo b'midbarois. You shouldn't go in the wilderness. Ba'avrache, ba'arava, ba'arava lochu, velo b'harim g'vois. That you should go in plains, but you should not go on mountain, not by mountains or gavois. Okay, we're gonna stop here because it's, it's a ton of bottom. Let's see, it maybe a Rashi over here. Kedershe herol hamri shayna. 
Besaisim in the term when they left Egypt, so the cloud showed them the way. So to now they'll be told the proper way. Because we know that the cloud stopped when Moshe died. It didn't continue. So they were told that after he crossed the Yardin, to conquer the land, they should go according to this particular location. So they were given explicitly instructions then, so they would know exactly where to go afterwards to be able to do this brachas and calls by har evil and har grisim. Adkan.